Thanksgiving, America. I'm Donna, and I'm here with my friends to tell you the real history behind this holiday. Growing up, I knew that what they told you in school about Thanksgiving wasn't true. That's not the true story. The true story behind Thanksgiving was after every killing of a whole village, these European settlers celebrated it and they called it Thanksgiving. But it wasn't until Abraham Lincoln became president that it became an official holiday. He ordered 38 Dakota men to be hung for war crimes after the sacred holiday Christmas. We take this time to remember our elders who lost their lives due to what really happened. Usually my mom makes a Native American dish for us and we pray. Growing up, I would be kind of annoyed that they didn't know what actually happened on Thanksgiving and that they're actually celebrating the deaths of many people and many tribes that were lost. Whether it's to give thanks or to be with your family, you should learn how the holiday was established in the first place. I'm thankful for being born indigenous to this continent. I'm thankful that I still have my culture. I'm thankful that my elders kept our culture alive all these years. I'm thankful to be indigenous, resilient, and alive. I'm thankful for us all to be able to stand together, stand strong, and stand this one. Happy Thanksgiving, America. I'd like to say shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. So give a double honor to the elders of GMS, honest to Akim. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that listen. Hopeful elect and, um, you know, another folly uh, holiday um, that's set in great dignity in America. Which is just as big as Christmas. Thanksgiving, man. Which we know is thanks taken. Which, you know, the clip showed the history on that murderous holiday where Esau, the white man, the Europeans came broke bread with the Indians and later on stabbed him in the back, man, and killed 700 of them, which is one of the many um, violent acts that this white man Esau has towards the tribe of Gad, all right, and Reuben, the Seminole Indians, all right, and we know later on in history that Abraham Lincoln consolidated it on that one day, because wherever they conquered you tribes, the natives, they had a feast, to celebrate man and that's all what thanksgiving um represents man that's what it commemorates your slaughter and your downfall all right and at that same time simultaneously 1620 1621 um negroes came over here in slavery okay and you were the first product on wall street man the first product man so our people got no business celebrating these things, man. We are living in the last days, man. Now is the time to repent and get your act together. This truth is out. That's so we got all these heathens um, trying to come up against this word, man. Two thirds trying to come up against these, this word, man. Trying to stop it. Okay? The Christian church trying to come up against this word and stop it because y'all down with the world, man. Y'all gonna have y'all pork chops, all right? Y'all not teaching the truth on anything. Y'all down with the world, man. And y'all like things the way that it is. See, but the most high stand us up as a standard to cast everything down, man. That's not according to the book, all right? And the Lord said he was gonna slay them by the sword of his mouth. And the sword of his mouth is his men, all right? So we going... And Gad, the tribe of Gad, there's an elect out of them, man. And the tribe of Reuben. All right? That's rising up, man. Turning back to their heritage and who they are. Technically, you're not Native Americans, man. You're the tribe of Gad and you're the tribe of Reuben. Seminole Indians and you have the other Native tribes. That's your biblical nationality. And we're all brothers, man. We're all in the same situation together. All right? First precept. Psalms chapter 85 verse 11 And with all this information out A lot of our people just still gonna be ignorant You see It reads Psalms 85 and 11 But the scripture says this It 
It says, truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The truth is out. Okay, start with the apostles on down onto the um, the rest of the brothers, man. Okay, we out there on them streets and we pushing that word and we pushing it on the internet. Okay, and this truth is starting to affect this devil's plans. Okay, it's starting to affect. It's a glitch in his new world order, man, in his matrix. All right? They never ever saw us waking back up or coming back together. Because the Most High is dealing with all 12 tribes, man. The Northern and the Southern Kingdom. You Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native American Indians. Okay? So the scripture says, Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The truth is being sprung out. Because we've been lied to for so long, man. And the quicker we wake up is the quicker this empire is going to go down. We're in the time of the end. All right? Esau, the gig is up, man. Okay, you can't... You know, them lies that you've been telling have what? Have, has been exposed. Your own industry is being exposed, man. Your own Hollywood is being exposed, man. That all you guys are homosexuals and pedophiles. Okay, you never change. From since Columbus to 1620 till today. You're still the same murderous, evil, manipulative... Manipulative bastard, demonic bastard that has ever lived, man. You're the wicked that the scripture talks about in the book of Malachi. All right? I read the book of Genesis, the 49th chapter. Let me see verse... Um, this is our forefather, Jacob. We saw verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. This is one of the main scriptures that we use to identify who the 12 tribes will be and where they'll be located at in the last days, man. Who they are today. Jacob is going to give them prophecies. All right? Let's go to the tribe of Gad, which are you Native Americans. It says, Gad, verse 19, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. A troop did overcome y'all. Okay, that's why they celebrate Thanksgiving. All right? And then you had the um, the Trail of Tears, the Battle of Wounded Knee. You know, those are all separate lessons in themselves. And then after the white man finished with you, he put you on reservations. He made treaties with y'all, and then he later on broke it. Okay? That's why it says, verse 12, 19 again, Gad, a troop shall overcome him. But he shall overcome at the last. So the Mosai said, at the last, you guys are going to overcome. In what day and time? In the last days. And we in the last days. Okay, we in the time where Yahweh Shai is going to come back and redeem all 12 tribes, man. Okay, so you Gadites, you got to hold your head up. Okay. The scripture says that what? That you is going to overcome at the end. And we're at the end. All right, that's why the truth is being brought out throughout the planet Earth. And this devil hates that. That's why he's taking down accounts. He's trying to censor this word, but you can't. All right? Nothing can be do against the truth, but only for it. All right? We read Psalms chapter 92, verse 5. Psalms 92 and 5. O Lord, O Yahweh, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. So Esau don't know. He, <laughs> man, the most I got you in a big trick bag, man. The scripture says those that do wickedness are set up. You're being set up. Just like the ancient Pharaoh was set up. Okay, and America's imploding from within. That's why you got a lot of jakes in the NFL world. They ain't saluting that American flag anymore, man. The latest incident is Marshawn Lynch. You know, they played in Mexico. He saluted the Mexican flag, but he don't salute the American flag. See? 
That's the most high rousing you tribes up, man. Okay? Matter of fact. Yeah, that's the most high rousing you tribes up, man. I get that scripture right after this. All right? But it says, what? A brutish man nor from not, neither doeth, doeth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass and the wicked is ruling. That's we got homosexuality. That's we got this transgender movement. Okay? That's why he celebrates everything that's evil, man. That Thanksgiving, that's an evil holiday, man. Okay? That's why he uphold Columbus Day, man. Because that's what America represents anyway. Okay? Nothing but lies and deceit, hypocrisy, and rape, robbery, and murder. All right? It says, um, when all the workers of iniquity do flourish... It is that they shall be destroyed forever. So you see them doing good in this kingdom. Because this is their kingdom. The scripture says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. But it says what? They shall be destroyed forever. Okay? Okay, we're coming to the climax of your kingdom. And your kingdom is going to go out with thermal nuclear destruction. Babylon the Great is going to go out with fire. All right? But thou, O Yahweh, Shem Yashah, Lord, are most high forever. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, O Yahweh Shemel Shah. For lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity or sins shall be scattered. But my horn thou shalt exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies. That's why the scripture says, Gad is what he's going to, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. And that's all 12 tribes. Because like King David said, we are going to see the desire on our enemies, which is their downfall, their destruction. Okay? And it says like the horn of a unicorn, man. That's why this word is all over the internet. Okay? It's spreading globally. The truth is out, man. And nothing is going to stop it. No matter how much scoffers come up, you all just playing your role, man. The truth always wins in the end. Okay, it says, my eye also shall see my desire on my enemies, and um, mine ear shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. So everybody rising up against us, man. But guess what? We going to see that before, all right? The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our power. So... We are in the house of the Lord, okay? Which starts with Yahweh Shah, who we call Jesus Christ. He's the foundation of that new house. And the house that we build in is the house of David, okay? 12,000 from each tribe, 144,000, man. That's the house, man. All right, it says, um, they shall bring fruit forth in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that Yahweh Shimei Shah is upright. He is my rock, and there's no righteousness in him. So the Heavenly Father sees everything, man. And he's a just power, okay? And he's going to recompense us and pay us back by giving us the blood of our enemies, man, but in due time, okay? He's going to redeem us in due time, man. All right, let me um in this precept. Book of Obadiah. Chapter 1, this goes into Esau, Edom, the modern-day Caucasian who calls himself white, which he's really red, all right, because of his lack of pigment. It says, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10, this is why the most size against you, Edomites. He says, what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Like I said, what you did to the southern kingdom put us in hardcore slavery. And what you did to the northern kingdom, starting with Columbus, to what you did to the Hispanic and the native Indian tribes. All the blood that was shed, man. Okay. Excuse, excuse me. All the blood that was shed in this country, man. In order for you to establish it. It says, what for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So... Ain't no Edomite is going to be saved. 
All right. The ones of you that don't die in the nuclear destruction, you're going straight into captivity and slavery. Okay, and after that period of um, a thousand years is up, you're going to be burnt forever and ever a month. Why? Because of thy violence against thy brother Jacob. All right. Which is still carrying out to this day. That's what I'm going to do a, um, another video on. You know, they disease warfare against you tribes. You know, they smallpox, the uh, syphilis, the Tuskegee experiment, man. That's why they give a lot of you jakes all kind of shots when you're born. A lot of these kids are autistic. A lot of these kids are bugged out. All right? That's you got the worst food in your ghettos. You got inferior education. You see what I'm saying? Because of why? That violence against thy brother Jacob. His spirit automatically is adverse to ours. That's we got all this racial tension springing back up in 2017. Trump invoked all that, man, because it was always there. It was just the elephant in the room nobody wanted to talk about, but now it's out, man. These people never liked us from, from day one, and they're not supposed to. Okay, the scriptures is telling you, man. Read on. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Let me read verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You so-called Negroes, um, um, West Indians, and you Haitians. And the house of Joseph, which are you Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, down to you Native Indians, down to you Mexican, the rest of you Hispanic tribes. House of Joseph, a flame. And the house of Esau, Okay, you people that's calling yourself Caucasians today for stubble, you're gonna be stubble. Because how you, like what what Yahweh Shah has said, and what it says in the book of Galatians, you reap what you sow, man. Alright? They shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau, for Yahweh Shem Shah has spoken it. So in the kingdom of heaven, you're gonna be done away with forever, man. And they of the south shall possess the Mount Esau. Right, this is going something else, all right? So it says, um, here one more precept, Psalm 58. So, and that goes for all of us, man. I want to mainly focus on Gad today because of, you know, which I did lessons on this on the highways and hedges already. And also did a lessons last year going into the whole history of Thanksgiving, man, which is information all over the internet, okay? There's no excuse, man. People just think about their belly. Nah, you're supposed to be thinking upon the truth, man. Feed yourself with knowledge, man. Okay, especially in this day and time. Scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Read Psalms 58. Close it out on this. Do we indeed speak righteousness, O congregations? Do we judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And that's what Esau is doing. The wicked are strained from the womb. They go astray as they be born, speaking lies. Read it again. The wicked are strained from the womb. So as soon as they come out of the womb, they already label the devil, the sealers. The spirit that's in him, as it is written in Habakkuk 2 and 5, is not right. You was already preordained or set up to be the wicked. And there's nothing any of us could do about that, man. It says, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies, man. There you go. And they've never changed. Not from the Greeks, not to the Romans, not to this day. Okay? They've always been the same. Murderers, liars, thieves. Okay? Sexually perverse, illicit relationships, man. That's what they uphold. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They're like the death adder that stopped her hair. And yeah, they are the poison... Because whether they tell the Native Americans, they actually broke bread with them, sat down with them. Man. After they showed you how to till the land, how to survive in the winters, how to grow your food, how to take a basic shower, you deceive them. That's what they say. You speak with a forked tongue, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Charming never so wisely. And that's this white man always smiling in your face. Always patting you on the back. 
Always talking about freedom and justice and liberty for all and democracy, which he don't believe in none of those things, man. He's charming never so wisely. He is a serpent, okay? And this is what King David said. Break their teeth, O Most High, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahabah Shem Yahshah. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bended his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be cut in pieces. And what's that arrow that's going to melt you? Those nuclear missiles. The smith that was created to destroy, man. All right, that's how, that's the lake of fire. And America's destroyed all 50 states in this third world's war that's coming. We're in the time of biblical prophecy. We are in the time of the book of Revelations. It says, as a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. And this is scripture right here, all 12 tribes, man. Like I said, you Gadites and you Reubenites, you're going to rise again. It says, the righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. And those days are coming. Like I said, it's going to be a major race ride in this country. So that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judgeth in the earth. All glory, Habashim Yashah. The Most High is going to revenge his people, man. You know, we just got to hold on and remain patient and endure to the latter end. That I'm going to say, giving all praise, Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shalom.